This video explains how to deal with the error message error in names attributes must be the same length in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a vector object, as you can see in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new vector object called my vector is appearing at the top right. And if we print this vector to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code, you can see that our vector object contains three different elements. Now, in addition to that, we need to create a vector containing names that we want to assign to these vector elements. And we can do that, as you can see, in line five of the code. So after running this line of code, another data object called my names is appearing at the top right. And we can print the content of this data object to the RStudio console by running line six of the code. And then you can see that our names vector contains the four letters A, B, C, and D. Now let's assume that we want to assign these names to the values in our vector. Then we might try to apply the names function, as you can see in line eight of the code. However, after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the error message error in names, my names, names attribute four must be the same length as the vector three. And the reason for this error message is that the length of our vector of values is different compared to the length of the vector of names. So in this case, our vector of values contains three elements and our vector of names contains four elements. And both of these vector objects need to have the same length. So one way to avoid this problem is that we cut off the vector of names using the length function, as you can see in line 10 of the code. So in this case, we are telling the R programming language that we want to subset our vector and we want to keep only those elements that are ranging from the first position of our names vector to the length of our values vector. So after running line 10 of the code, a new data object called my names new is created. And in the next step, we can apply the names function once again to our vector of values. And this time we are assigning the names of our new data object as names to this vector. So after running line 12 of the code, our vector object my vector is updated, as you can see by running line 14 of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see that we have properly assigned the names A, B, and C to the values in our vector object. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.